Hey everybody, it's Jessica from Crow's Nest and we are going to do some more hydrangeas today. So I had such good luck. I don't know if you saw the video yet. Um, I did some hydrangeas from a funeral memorial preservation in my wise dry basket and miracle game changer y'all. I, I sing this, this basket's praises every day, but these delicate flowers like this that have all these little tiny crevices, this guy is your friend. So I'm going to attempt to get two very large green hydrangeas and three medium sized white hydrangeas in this one. And I'm going to try to pack them in there because this is the only one I have available. My other one is not supposed to be ready until this weekend. So I've got to get these in because if you know, hydrangeas pretty much start wilting as soon as you cut them. So I'm going to get them in this basket and then we're going to get busy with getting them covered. So bear with me. Okay, here we go. So some of these are a little bit flatter on one side, so I'm going to attempt, and I did leave the stem because I can cut these all off after they're dried. See, this one's kind of already flat, so I'm going to try to get him right up against this one. We're going to get our white ones in. Trying not to bruise them. This is going to be a little bit difficult because I am really packing this in here, guys. Not my normal way, but I've got to get them in here before they wilt. Okay, so there we go. And my neighbor's husky is having a meltdown again, and I'm sorry. He cries to go out, and then he cries to come in, so they can't win either. All right, so as usual, we're going to do wash dry. So I have got a fresh bag here. Just as normal, my wise dry flower drying silica gel crystals from wise dry. I'm gonna open this bag up and we're gonna get to pouring. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what we need to do is see these little nooks and crannies. This all has to be filled in. And with this basket, I can kind of shake it around, fluff it around. And these are going to be great. So we just need to get that silica in there. So I'm going to start pouring. And as I pour, I'm just going to shake it just a little bit. And I'm going to be very, very delicate because hydrangeas are very delicate flowers. So I'm going to start around the edges. And I'm going to shake as I go because I want it to make sure that it's getting in all of those little spots that we were talking about in between these flowers. And it's probably going to take this whole five pound bag. Usually when I use the basket, that's about average. So I'm hoping I have enough to cover everything. If not, I have more. And see, as you can see, it's starting to kind of fall down in there and that's exactly what I want that's why I really love this basket because when you have like the um, other types of baskets you may not be able to figure out if it's in between but see there it's getting exactly where I need it to be So there's one five pound bag. Let me open another. Okay. I'm going to continue to pour. And as you see, when I pour this, it'll start sinking down in there. That's what I want. I want it to get all in between those flowers. Let me shake a little bit. And 
don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see it. But see, it's all in between those flowers. And that's what you want. Every single petal has to be covered. Is going to be one heavy container. What I may do is just pile this up on top because like I said, I'm just going to carry it straight in and it goes on my floral shelf. I got these two bags just in time because they just got delivered today. And she just gave them to me today, so that works out good. Okay, just going to make sure they're nice and covered all the way up. So you don't want to see anything sticking out on the top of your surface. So now all I need to do is put my lid on. These will go for one week. Hydrangeas one week is the sweet spot. And today is the 19th. I'm sorry, today is the 20th. So I'm gonna put the 20th. So I've got my date. And then it'll come out in a week. I will check, I'll uncover the top here, and I will just check the density and see how I feel. If I feel like it needs to go in more, I will do so. Just keep following along and you'll see how they came out. Hey everybody, let's do some floral preservation. Alright, so this is the hydrangeas that I did on the 20th. It is now the 28th, so they've been in here for about 8 days. So we're going to go ahead and get them going. Of course, I'm using my wise draw basket. So I've got my little foils here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start pulling this out. So I'm gonna grab the basket. This is why I love these baskets. So these are green and white hydrangeas. I'm going very, very slowly. I'm just checking quickly. Yes, they are nice and dry. That's the best thing about these baskets when you're doing these big blooms like this that are so intricate. I say this and I find myself repeating myself over and over and I'm sorry guys. But look at this. So that's white and green hydrangeas. Very intricately preserved. Do is I'm just going to pull these out and I mean I packed it I packed this basket and as you can see in between each of those all the silica is gone and they have turned out really nice they look very very fresh very fresh all right so what I'll do is I'll put them over here and then of course I'll spray them with my Gemini floral spray and these are the white ones so they turned out really really well as well I'm just gonna fluff this just in case there's any silica in there because I don't want any silica So if you live in Kentucky and you have flowers, give me some, I'll preserve them. All right, so there's what our hydrangeas look like. My basket's ready to go. So there is our white and green hydrangeas. They have been in silica for eight days. Like I said, 6.20 in the evening. Um, and then I'm taking them out midday on the 28th. So let's just say seven days, seven and a half days. And they did really, really well. They're really dry. Let's 
you can hear that. So very, very pleased with these. They'll be gorgeous in resin. And hopefully I will remember when I go to start creating to film. I'll see you guys later. Thanks.